Okay, guys. So we'll be moving on to talk about the intraperitoneal route of drug administration. And just like I told you guys, uh, this route of drug administration I'll be discussing lately are basically like a rare types of route of drug administration. They actually sound rare to you guys, but they actually exist, all right? So in intraperitoneal, there's an L there, root of drug administration. And our purpose is to discuss the intraperitoneal route of drug administration. Now, you could see this, this is intraperitoneal. And intraperitoneal is basically you administering the drug directly to the contents of the abdomen. Okay? Directly into the contents of the abdomen. So it, it actually delivers medication directly into the abdominal cavity. Uh, the intraperitoneal route of drug administration is used to deliver medications directly into the abdominal cavity through a catheter. It mustn't be only a catheter, it could be an injection too, all right? But mostly a catheter though, because it is painful. So you have to actually just put something that will be stable there, all right? So it could be a catheter, it could be a syringe, it could be a needle, okay? So uh, you deliver it into the abdominal cavity using a... Uh, uh, syringe or catheter that was surgically placed in the abdominal wall okay so medications are supplied in infusion bags now this method allows for higher concentrations of medications to be delivered locally to the abdominal cavity while minimizing exposure to the rest of the body okay so this is one big exam uh, one big advantage if you know that the infection exists at a particular point and then you are now administering this medication directly to that particular point then you are basically saving the rest of the body from reacting to the whole thing do you understand so you are basically reducing the risk of the whole body reacting to that particular medical condition so intraperitoneal injections are also used in research involving animals and drug administration to treat ovarian cancers okay so now that the ovaries is in the abdominal cavity, so you could just go to actually just treat it directly rather than giving an injection, giving drugs through the oral route, you find it the whole body reacting to the same drug rather than giving drugs through the intravenous, you find the whole body reacting to the intravenous route and all the stuff, okay? So this intraperitoneal route of drug administration is basically administering drug directly to... Uh, the abdominal cavity okay by using what a syringe or it could be a catheter that was surgically placed okay so this is still another picture showing the intraperitoneal route of drug administration all right so guys this is it about the intraperitoneal route of drug administration i think this will be the last video we'll be doing on the route of drug administration this should be like the 15th one but before this, uh, before this uh, research, I felt uh, only the oral roots and uh, intramuscular and uh, oral roots, intramuscular, intravenous, okay? I didn't know that we have so many roots of drug administration, but it's good to actually learn though, okay? So guys, I'll be seeing you guys in the next tour, and bye for now.